Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to recover a PEM key which we have lost. For this demo, we will create two servers. One will be our main server and second will be our recovery server. So let's create the instance. First, we will create an instance and we will name it as server hyphen with key. We will keep all the settings as it is. And we will create a new key pair here. We will name it as server hyphen with hyphen key new. Let's launch the instance. Let's check the status. Let's wait till we get the instance state as running. Okay, now it's running. So we need to stop this server because we don't have to keep it running for this moment. Till the time this server stops, we will create a new server which will be our recovery server. The name of the recovery server will be recovery hyphen server hyphen new. Here also we'll keep the settings same and we will create a new key pair as a recovery. Let's launch the instance. Let's check the status. Till the recovery server starts, let's rename the root volume of our main server so we can identify the root volume later. Let's copy the name of this server. We will go to volumes. Here, check for the root volume. Okay, this is the one. Let's rename it. Let's go back to the instances. So our server is now in running state. Now we need to go to volumes. Let's check for the root volume. So this is the root volume of our main server. We will detach this volume. Let's check the status. Okay, now the volume state is in available state. Let's attach this volume to our recovery server. Select recovery server and attach. Okay, so now it is in attached state. Let's log into the instance now. Let's check if our disk has been attached to the server or not. We will run a command lsblk. So here we are able to see xvdf1 is our newly attached disk. To mount this we will create a directory in slash mnt as slash root hyphen volume. Let's go to mnt directory and create a directory. mkdir space root hyphen volume. Let's check if the directory has been created. Okay, it's there. 
now we will mount this disk to this directory so the command is mount hyphen o no uuid space slash dev slash xvdf1 slash mnt slash root volume let's verify if the mount command has been successfully executed or not okay so here we are able to see the disk which is now mounted on mnt root volume so to replace the key what we have to do is we have to go to the home directory of the ec2 hyphen user there we have to check for the directory dot ssh there we have a file called authorized keys and we have to copy the content of that file to the same location in the root volume so let's try that here we have authorized key we will copy the content of this file to mnt slash root volume slash home slash ec2 hyphen user slash dot ssh and in authorized key done now we have to unmount the mounted disk so for this command is u mount and the name of the directory let's cross verify it okay so now we are not able to see that disk which was present there earlier let's go to the console let's stop this instance because we are going to detach the volume so let's wait till we get the instance status stop okay now go to volumes let's detach this volume from the recovery server let's check the status okay it's in available state now let's attach it back to the main server which is server hyphen with hyphen key here we have to attach it to the xvda1 device name because we want it to be attached as a root directory let's attach so it is now in attached state let's go to instances and start the server let's wait till we get the instance state as running okay let's log into this server using our recovery key that's it so now we are able to access the server which we were not able to access due to unavailability of the pem key let's verify the ip address which is 
here the public IP address of this server which is assigned by AWS will be changed. If you don't want to get it changed then you have to use elastic IP address which will not be get changed and it will be with you if you stop the server. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also comment to this video if you think this is useful for you.